This story has a scary dream and a king who turns into a beast like a monster. Hi kiddo, I'm Grandma Goody and I'm here to tell you a story. But first I have a question for you. Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night terrified because you had a bad dream? I have. Well, this story is about a king who had a dream like that that terrified him. Now you're going to want to stick around and see what happens to this king because it was so important. He includes in there a letter that he wrote to everyone in the whole wide world. Now what could be so important? Well, you stick around and you're going to see. So our story begins with King Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king of Babylon. Now that was at a time long, long, long ago when Babylon was the greatest nation in the whole world. This story is when he wakes up one night and he had a bad dream that was so scary and terrifying. He called and woke up all of his advisors he woke up everybody in the middle of the night and he called them in. He told them the dream. He just wanted to know what it meant. They couldn't figure out what it meant. So then he remembered, you know who'll know how to tell me what this dream means? That's Daniel, because he's explained dreams to the king before. And so he wakes up Daniel and he brings him in. And then the king told him what he had dreamed and he asked Daniel to explain it to him. And so the king said to, to uh, we call him Daniel, but he called him Belteshazzar. That's the name he gave him. And he said, uh, Belteshazzar, and I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in you. And so you can explain to me what my dream means. Let me tell you what I dreamed. He said, uh, here was my dream. I saw this giant tree and the tree was so big that it spread out like it reached over the whole world. And the tree was green and full of beautiful leaves. And there was, it was full of all kinds of fruit and all the birds of the heavens came and nested in the branches of this tree. And beneath this tree, all of the wild animals came and rested in the shade and all the people of the earth and all of the animals of the earth got fed from this great tree. And I saw a messenger from heaven come down from heaven and he said in a loud voice, cut down the tree strip off all of its branches, break them off, take off all the leaves, tell the animals, run away, tell the birds, fly away, because the God of heaven has decreed that this tree is coming down. But I don't want you to take up the stump. Leave the stump of that tree right there in the ground and leave the roots in the ground and put a band of metal around that stump and just leave it be. And the messenger said, let Nebuchadnezzar be put out and drenched with the dew of the heavens. Let him be in the grass and take away the mind of a human and the ability to think like a human and give him the mind of an animal and put him out to pasture like a cow or something. So I guess we can see why that would scare Nebuchadnezzar because that's a terrifying thing. And here's what the Bible says. The decision is announced by the holy messengers so that all who are alive will know that the Most High God is King. He rules over all the kingdoms on earth and he gives them to anyone he wants to be his ruler. And that's the dream I had. He said, oh king, I only wish that this dream were not for you. I would only wish this on your enemies. 
Here is the meaning of your dream. You are like a flourishing tree that provides food and protection for the whole world, for all the animals, the birds. Uh, your kingdom has provided protection and food for all the, the people and the kingdoms of the world. So that tree represents you, King Nebuchadnezzar. But that messenger was sent from God with a decree against you. The Most High God chooses who will be the rulers of the kingdoms on this earth. And he can decree it in a moment that whoever that is, is no longer ruling. But he's out there in the field drooling. Well, that's not how he said it, but that's how I thought of it. So Daniel was now upset too because he cared for the king and he said oh king nebuchadnezzar please turn away from your sins stop doing the things that are bad and instead do good and take care of the poor and uh, who knows maybe the god of heaven will uh, uh relent and not bring this thing upon you so king nebuchadnezzar took it to heart and nothing bad happened to him that night. And he had a little glimmer of hope. And uh, a whole year went by and nothing bad happened to him. But then one night, King Nebuchadnezzar was out walking on the top of the roof of his palace. He was looking out over the kingdom that he had built. And he got all puffed up with pride. And he said, look what I, King Nebuchadnezzar, king of the world, look what I have done. And he was just so proud of himself. And he forgot what he had learned from Daniel. And he said, isn't this the mighty Babylon that I have built as a place for my royal palace. And it shows how glorious my majesty is. And uh, while he was still speaking, uh, Nebuchadnezzar is telling this story himself. So listen to what he says. He says, I was still speaking when a voice was heard from heaven and it said, King Nebuchadnezzar, here is what has been ordered concerning you. Your royal authority has been taken away from you. You will be driven away from people. You'll live just like the wild animals. You'll eat grass just like a cow or the cattle do. And seven periods of time will pass by. Then you will recognize that the Most High God rules over all the kingdoms of earth. And he gives it to any one he wants and what had been said about me came true at once he says I was driven out I lost my mind my mind became like the mind of an animal he was out there crawling around eating grass his nails got so long they were like the talons of a of a bird of prey his hair got so long and all matted he just he was just living like an animal and after the seven years passed by just like god promised he looked up one day and God restored his mind to be a human mind and restored his wisdom to be the wisdom of a king. And God restored his kingdom to make him king again. He went back and he was accepted back. I'm sure he had to clean up first and get his hair cut and his nails cut. But God again made him the king of Babylon. But ever after, he reminded everyone that God rules over all the kings and all the kingdoms of the earth. And so this is the message that King Nebuchadnezzar wanted to go out to the whole world. And God made sure that that, that letter King Nebuchadnezzar wrote to the whole world, it got put right here in the Bible. So you can read that letter from King Nebuchadnezzar yourself. Let me show you where to find that in your own Bible. It's in the Old Testament. And the book is Daniel. And it's chapter number four. Starts in verse one, and it goes all the way through to, to verse 37. And if you're using the secret code, it's D-A-N for the two dots, one through 37. And now kiddo, 
you remember, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more.